song. And hey, congratulations for I Love America. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Hey, thank you. So uh, what initially attracted you to a project like this for I Love America? You do a lot of romances yourself? No, you know, actually, that is one of the biggest impetuses to what brought me to it was I, I, I actually have, I've done a, a couple, but this was something I had been doing darker roles and uh, I was really wanting to try and delve into something just light, romantic, fun. Uh, also tack on the fact that it was a French film and an opportunity to be in a French film, which is not something many a American actors can say. I think it was just sort of the perfect storm for me and it was came at the exact right time. So how do you tackle the, um, being an American in a French film without really speaking in French? <laughs> well, luckily for me, most, most people involved with the filming process, some of the Parisian crew didn't speak English, but most people spoke English. Um, but it, it, was a, it was a bit of a bummer for me, you know, because this is sort of like, you know, your whole childhood when you're in school, you don't want to deal with like learning another language, you kind of push it aside and... And then I arrive in this this incredible scenario where I'm working in Paris with all these incredible French, French filmmakers and actors, and I'm just like, God, I just wish I spoke French. Just, just, just wish I could do it. But luckily for me, uh, John does not speak any French. But it was it was actually a big part of the story is him not learning French and and uh, that being a part of their relationship. So um, as frustrating as it was for me calling the actor to not speak French, it actually serviced the story better that I didn't because uh, it makes their their connection that much more you know, extraordinary. What, what does a film like this say about uh, to dating in the modern age today? Yeah, I think it says a lot about dating in the modern age. I think the biggest thing for me, at least, is the leap of faith that you have to take to connect. I think there's a bit of a stigma that comes with dating apps in particular that uh, it's all about, you know, meeting someone, having a hookup, and then moving on with your life. Um, and I think what I, what I really loved about John in particular was that he was looking for this deeper connection, which Lisa, the Sophie Marceau's character, really wasn't. And these two people who have completely different ideas as to why they met um, actually can connect in a way that is much more profound and deeper than, than what the stereotypes are. Now... One of the things that uh, I love about this film is about the uh, age gap between uh, your character, John and Lisa. But, yeah. you know, you know, the formula is usually like half plus seven. So I was like, <laughs> 50, you know, half of that, 25 plus seven, 32. Right. You were doing all the math. Yeah, so, so, so we're still off. But what do you think about, you know, you know dating at, at any age? I think it's beautiful. I mean, obviously we all think about the appearance of someone and the physical attributes and the looks and all that stuff. But I think what's, what's really wonderful about this type of romance is you're seeing that people are, can f absolutely be attracted to something way deeper. Um, and I think that is what draws these two together. I mean, obviously John is younger, but I think he, he possesses this, this, you know, old soul this uh this this sort of deeper wiser spirituality that they, that she's actually so attracted to and and vice versa um i think he he is looking for someone who is who is wise who is who's capable of love because they've loved before um i think it's i think it's incredible and i think honestly for me personally to get to play this role um, I, I had a, I had a relationship in the past with an older woman. And I think for me, it was, uh, it was really nice to re-explore this because at the time it felt, uh, taboo and it was a scary thing to talk about or even admit that was real. So, um, for me, it was, a, it was a wonderful opportunity to re-explore that and, and get to, uh, showcase love in a way that we don't normally see it, you know? What do you like about, uh, Lisa, the director putting all these, uh, you know, movie references, uh, throughout the romance, uh, through um, you know, through the dating. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was great. I'm so happy she did that because there was a, it was actually, I mean, obviously Dick Lebowski I'd seen, but the way we were, um, was a film I'd never seen with Robert Redford and Barbara, Barbara Streisand. And I was, I was kind of like, she keeps referencing this movie. I feel like I should watch it. And I watched it and I was like in tears watching it. And I was like, this is like, this is good for me as an actor and as someone who's going to always be working in this medium to, to continue to, study old films and, and learn to appreciate them. And I think that's why this film is, is, such a, is such a great thing for different audiences from both America to France, because I think you, 
you have uh, idealized versions of places because of the films that you watch and the things that you see growing up. And I think that uh, it tells a lot of stories that, you know, in a way that's rich for everyone who's watching. So um, I love that she referenced those films because I think that made, it made it special for, for not only me, but for whoever's watching. Well, Colin, appreciate you for speaking to us about uh, I Love America. Um, you've done a wonderful job. Thank you. Oh.